Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some signs that you have too much stuff, that you just might have a little too much clutter. If you are not new to my channel, you probably know that over the last few years I've sort of, sort of been going through this journey of learning how to be a more tidy person, how to have less clutter in my house. I've told you guys the story a million times. I used to just be so much messier and just like had no control over my home and my stuff. So I thought I would sort of just share with you like some of the signs and the indicators that really kind of like pushed me over the edge to make me realize like it was time to get control of my stuff as well as a lot of these are little indicators um, just like in my day-to-day -day life now that if these things are happening it means like that space or that room in my house needs a little purge it needs a little attention it is starting to accumulate too much stuff I also want to say that this video idea was inspired by a video I saw by Mia Danielle I'm gonna link her channel down below she's sort of like a newer like new in the YouTube space at least her channel is I always think it's great to support up-and-coming youtubers her stuff is really great a lot of it is about organization and clutter and like getting control of your stuff. Alright, sign number one that you might have too much stuff is you think about your stuff even when you can't see it. I'm thinking about a very specific example in my life and this is in the house that we had before this house and it was our attic. Our attic had become this complete dumping ground and it was just utter chaos and I would literally lay awake at night thinking about it, like thinking about how cluttered it was, thinking about how I didn't have time to take care of it, thinking about when I was going to have time to take care of it. And I remember it very specifically because it started to get pretty cluttered when I got pregnant with my first um, child. And so I was like really pregnant. I couldn't really get up there when I was pregnant. And then our baby was born. And I really like, I couldn't take a newborn up to the attic with me to organize my attic. And so it was just like this looming cloud over me. A lot of us have these spaces and they tend to be the spaces that we like close the door on because we think it's gonna be out of sight out of mind but you know you got too much stuff if you're constantly thinking about that space or that clutter even when you cannot see it and if you got a spot like that right now like when I talked about this and you're like oh my god I have that spot let us know in the comments down below because we're all in this together you guys nobody's perfect sign number two that you have too much stuff is your organizational system seem to fall apart pretty quickly at the end of the day it doesn't matter how many pretty storage bins you have and how well labeled they are. If there's too much stuff and it's overflowing, those systems are just gonna fall apart over and over and over again. You're gonna organize it and within a week or two weeks, it's just going to be utter chaos again. This is telling you the space has too much stuff. An example, I will tell you my upstairs bathroom drawer. I've actually got a pretty good organization structure here. I have little bins where I keep thing, or, things organized. I know this space is getting too cluttered when the organization system in that drawer has fallen apart. It tells me it is time to declutter that drawer. Number three, you have piles. Oh, piles. We all know piles, right? We like create piles and then the piles get married to other piles and they become bigger, larger piles. And when you make piles, it kind of makes you feel like you're cleaning and you're tidying, right? But the truth is you haven't actually gotten rid of your clutter. You just like put it into a neat little pile and then you've put it somewhere. If you've got piles, you got too much clutter. Because at the end of the day, the only reason that you create a pile is because the stuff in that pile doesn't have a home that it belongs. It doesn't have somewhere to go. And so you put it in this pile and you like put it on the counter and you say you're gonna get to it later or whatever and then maybe you do. If you're like me, you probably don't. Piles in any room are always an indicator to me that that space needs to be tended to. And usually a lot of that stuff is things that needs to get purged out of my home because like I said, if I created it into a pile, it's because it probably doesn't have an obvious place that it lives already in my home. Number four, you own something. You know you own something but you don't know where it is. You may try to convince yourself that this is just because you are not that organized, but the truth more likely is you could be organized, but you probably just have too much stuff to organize. We can't be the keeper of all things. It would literally be a full-time job to try to maintain an inventory and keep all of these little tiny pieces 
like organize it in their place all the time. If you very often know you own something and very often cannot find where it is or you don't know where it is, it's probably because you just have too much stuff. You don't have time to organize and maintain it. And I think it's really funny because I feel like a lot of the times we keep things, like one of the main reasons we develop clutter is because we keep things because we think we might need it, right? We hold on to something because like we just might need it for some project, we might just need it for some event we're going to, and we end up with all of these might need products and items. And then when we do finally might need that product, we have no idea where it is because we got too many other might need products to sort through. Reason number five, you're not removing something when you get a new version of it. One of my favorite examples from my own personal life for this is mascara. For some reason, when I buy a new tube of mascara, I don't get rid of the old mascara. I've been trying to get better about this. Like, I don't know why, cause I'm like, it still has a tiny bit of mascara in there. I don't know. This can come up for lots of things. Maybe you buy a new can opener and you're like, you didn't get rid of the other can opener. You bought a new one, you don't need the other one. Just in general, you really wanna be thinking about getting rid of something if you've brought something new in to replace it. It is very hard for you to have people over unannounced, specifically because like you feel embarrassed by how much stuff is out. I would say one of the biggest motivators for me in learning how to get my house more tidy or to keep my house more tidy and more organized was the fact that I hated that if somebody came by unannounced, I would be embarrassed that they came into my house and they saw the total mess that it was. And obviously people can come in unannounced and there's still gonna be mess around. I mean, I work in my home full time and I have two kids three years and under. So, you know, there's gonna be stuff, there's gonna be mess. But the idea is that I always like to think of keeping my home within 15 minutes of guests. Like if somebody called and they're like, hey, I'm gonna swing by, I'll be there, whatever. You know, I could quickly tidy up. And the same for my own personal benefit that if like the house is looking really messy and I wanna get it tidied so that I can organize and I can get like my mind in the right space, that I'm like 10 to 15 minutes from being able to go around and kind of tidy stuff up. You have too much clutter if it's gonna take you way longer than that to get ready. It used to take me, like I would need a day's notice before people would come to my house. Your laundry takes four Ever. This is for me, if my laundry starts taking forever, like I just finish a load, I put it away and my basket is already full, that is an indicator to me right there. It is time to do some clothing purging. You should not own so many clothes that your closet is full and your laundry basket is full and it's just always, you're just always doing laundry all of the time. When my closet is in a good, organized space, like I don't have surplus, I typically can do my laundry once a week and the laundry is not overflowing. The idea is that it's not just like overwhelming. I'm not finishing my laundry and putting it away and already have another full basket that I need to take care of. Sign number nine that you might have too much stuff is you feel like you just never have time to clean. This is what I always tell you guys was like one of the biggest things for me prior to sort of learning how to be a little bit more tidy is like I just always felt like there was just no way. I didn't have any time to do it. And this was before I was even a mom. You know, I just felt like when am I ever gonna have time to do this? And it's because I just had too much stuff. Like the idea, the thought of having to vacuum and mop my floors, I would have to pick up, you know, the little piles of messes that I had on the floor. And in order to do that, I was gonna have to clear off all the stuff that I had on the counters in order to do that, you know, I needed to put stuff away in the closet and the closet was a total disaster. And so it was just like this chain of events that I would have to do all of these things just to clean something. So I just never felt like I had time to do it. If you have less stuff in your house, you don't really have that overwhelm. You know, your surfaces in general are gonna stay pretty clear or you can clear them off pretty quickly. So it's easy to wipe down your counters, to do a quick vacuum, to like dust or mop or whatever. You forgot you had something. Like you go into a drawer or you're organizing something in a basement. And you're like, oh my God, I forgot I had this. Sometimes that's fun, right? It's like Christmas. You're like, oh, I totally forgot that I bought this like, pair of shoes for myself or like this book and it's like Christmas on a random day in February but if this is consistently happening and you've got all this stuff that like you forgot you bought you got too much stuff. Number 11, I love this one because it's a very specific example for me, is when somebody is visiting or you know you're having somebody stay over and they ask where something is and you like don't know or you're like embarrassed to tell them where it is because you don't want them to go into like your Monica closet. If you watch Friends, you know what I mean by the Monica closet, you know, but they'll be like, hey, where do you keep your extra paper towels? And you keep it in like this junk closet and you're too embarrassed for them to go in there and see it. It's because you probably have too much stuff. You can't keep that stuff organized. If you have a Monica closet, 
you got too much stuff. Number 12 is you're constantly wishing you had more flat surfaces, right? You're like putting something away and you're like, oh my God, I wish I had like a counter over here so I could put stuff down. And that's the thing about flat surfaces, right? It's like they're so good for putting stuff on. You got counters, you got tables, but they're really, if you think about it, you really shouldn't just be like cluttering them up with stuff. That's like not the point of flat surfaces in our homes in general. If you constantly find yourself thinking like, oh, I just wish I had another table here to set some stuff down. Like what stuff are you, what stuff are you setting down? The point is not to be creating more piles that we're just leaving out. You don't need more flat surfaces. That's not gonna solve the problem. You need probably less stuff. And last but not least, you are constantly buying more storage bins. You think that like storage bins are the solution to all of your problems. And listen, don't get me wrong, storage bins, when you find the right ones, they can be amazing. They can streamline the space, they can make it so much more organized, they can really help you maintain and keep good inventory of the stuff that you do have and you are going to keep. But I find if there's a space where I constantly seem to be cycling stuff out or I'm constantly just telling myself like, oh, I just need some more storage bins here, it may be time to sort of step back and reevaluate like, what do I need these bins for? And is it really stuff that I need to be storing and maintaining and keeping in my home or is it maybe some stuff that should probably go, that maybe I can get rid of, that I can maybe store in a space I already have. All right, my friends, that, that does it. That was like my 13 different reasons, I think. I don't know, I wasn't counting. That I usually find is a sign that I have too much stuff. Very personal examples from my own experience of learning how to sort of get, get rid of stuff, how to get tidier. And current examples I use all the time now, if it sort of pops up in a certain space in my home, it tells me, there's probably too much stuff here. I also wanted to let you know I'm currently hosting a little giveaway over on my Instagram. I'm going to put a link in the description box down below on how you can go over there to my Instagram and uh, enter to win that giveaway. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.